On our last episode, Rondeau Provincial Park, Ontario's second oldest provincial park. We ended up here at Bacchus Page House at John E. Pierce Provincial Park. And this is going to be the jumping off point for our next episode of Geocaching the North Shore of Lake Erie. if I've ever seen a headache pills container used for a geocache before. This one worked really well if the log is nice and dry. And it's right where the hint said at the base of a dead evergreen. Or a cedar in this case. Oh, there's lots of spiders here though. Not just another cemetery, but one that actually tells of the history of the area and a veteran of the War of 1812 who's buried right here. You know, sometimes you're just driving down the road and it's just maybe just another cemetery until you stop and take a look or because there's a geocache there and it tells you a little bit more about the area and its history. And that's what I like about geocaching. Our next stop brings us to the Fingal Wildlife Management Area, which was a former home of the number four bombing and gunnery school. Jerry, Jerry, the fire hydrant's over there. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to see my screen. I can't see my screen. <laughs> oh yeah, that gets to be a problem. This. Just I, I... before coming to the park, we met up with some geocachers from our area, and they've come along to join us to get this adventure lab. final stage to this adventure lab brings you to four what were incinerators and they use these to destroy sensitive documents and yes there is a geocache in one of them we've already found so that was a great adventure lab eh? that was a lot of fun and so much nicer to be with people yeah, we haven't seen them in a long time yeah. it was great oh, seeing yeah. you guys yeah, yeah, great seeing, seeing you guys too awesome. thank you so much Hi, my cash name is Zanna Noelis. I even have trouble with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Moon Crystal here. It's been a great outing this morning. Hey, Jake Hound, how are you? And uh, yeah, he can't even say his own name. No, so what's up with that? I don't feel so bad now. That's and, why I call him Z. And, 
And Jake Hound, we did one of our very first videos with him yep. as we went to Sleepy Hollow in oh, New York. New York. Yeah, that was right. an awesome that was, that was really fun. Really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, he was making fun of me, saying "Holy Doodle." Holy Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Doodle. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> and now we're bringing you to a really cool spot at the end of a road for an Earth cache. This one has a few questions and brings you to an amazing view overlooking the lake on this bluff that is about 20 meters high. was fun. Oh, to be a bird. But we've got more geocaching to do and we got to work our way eastward. Next up, I think is Port Stanley. Was a DNF avenged, a real sneaky one. Yeah, well, we tried for this one years ago, couldn't find it. And maybe that's because we weren't experienced enough to find <laughs> a micro on a sign. We had to run quick, but don't fret. We'll be back again next week with another episode of Geocaching the North Shore of Lake Erie on Cache Canada. Because there's always more caches to find. John E. Pierce, yeah. <laughs> Provincial Park. <laughs> we ended up here. At I got it. Backus Page at John. Yeah. I got it. Just okay. keep quiet. Okay. Now I lost it.